dear students welcome we studied in the previous class about remainder theorem what is that remainder theorem if px is a polynomial of degree more than 1 we can divide it by a linear polynomial x minus a where a is a real number so that the remainder will become the value of the polynomial at a from that we uh, solved some problems without real division we could find the remainder of the division now in this part we will discuss about the factor theorem then factorization using factor theorem then factorization by splitting the middle term or middle term splitting now first of all to start with the factor theorem we have to go to the uh, lesson previously we have studied what is that let's consider this example find the remainder when x square minus 3x plus 2 is divided by x minus 2 using remainder theorem so in this case what is our a here a is 2 which is a real number x minus 2 is a linear polynomial so by division we can say that px is our x square minus 3x plus 2 and x minus 2 is linear polynomial so to find the remainder we can replace x by 2 that is to evaluate the polynomial for the value of x as 2 so by replacing x with t we have p2 equal to 2 square minus 3 into 2 plus 2 2 square is 4 minus 3 into 2 is 6 plus 2 this gives 4 minus 6 plus 2 is equal to 0 that means the remainder is 0 if remainder is 0 we can express x square minus 3x plus 2 as x minus 2 into some polynomial qx this shows that x minus 2 is a factor of x square minus 3x plus 2 here we could find the factor of a polynomial from this we can lead to the factor theorem what is factor theorem the factor theorem says if px is a polynomial of degree n greater than equal to 1 and a is a real number then first of all x minus a is a factor of px if polynomial value at a is equal to 0 and on the other hand if polynomial value at a is equal to 0 if x minus a is a factor of px here let's see what is the proof how to prove it first by remainder theorem px is equal to x minus a into qx plus pa as x minus is the linear polynomial so we can 
write like this and remainder is P A. Here X minus A is a here given if P A is equal to 0 then what happens to this expression? This expression becomes P X is equal to X minus A into Q X. Now, in this case, what do we see? We can see that x minus a is a factor of p x. That means, by taking p a equal to 0, we could prove that x minus a is a factor of p x. Now, if we take x minus a is a factor of p x, then we can express p x in terms of remainder theorem as p x equal to x minus a into some quotient polynomial g x for some quotient polynomial g x. Now see here the uh, x minus a is a factor. So, here the remainder is absent. Now, put the value of x as a that we have to find p a. If we replace x by a, what happens? This x minus a becomes a minus a into g x the quotient polynomial. So, a minus a is 0, 0 into this g x gives 0 polynomial or value of P o P A is 0. What does it mean? This is our second part where we had to prove that if x minus is a factor of P x then P A must be 0. Now, we can use this to solve some problems. Let us see find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of p x that is 2 x cube plus x square minus k x plus 1. In this case as x minus 1 is a factor that means p a must be 0 as the factor theorem says. So, we can say that x minus 1 is a factor of p x and this gives p 1 equal to 0 and what is p 1? We have to replace the value of x as 1. So, that gives 2 into 1 cube plus 1 square minus k into 1 plus 1 as it is given earlier. Now, if we calculate it, we have 0 in a uh, in the equation, we have 0 in left, si left side and in right side, see 2 into 1 cube gives 2 plus 1 square gives 1. So, 2 plus 1 is 3 minus k into 1 gives minus k plus 1 that means 4 minus k. So, 0 is equal to 4 minus k. Now, by taking minus k to the left side of the equation, we get k is equal to 4. See, by using factor theorem, we can solve such type of problems. Now, Look, look, at, look at the screen here we have another problem. The factorization by middle term splitting. What is that? If the polynomial is of form x square plus lx plus m is a quadratic polynomial, it can have two factors namely x minus a into 
x minus b. In that case, what happens? Let's see. Here it is written L is sum of minus a and minus b and m is a b. How this happens? See x square plus lx plus m and let it be equal to x minus a and x minus b. Let these two are the factors of x square plus lx plus m. Why these two polynomials? Here we have two linear polynomials. So product of two linear polynomials always gives a quadratic polynomial. So as the left hand side is a quadratic polynomial, so the, it must have at best two factors. In this case, if we write like this, this gives x square minus a into x minus ax minus b into x minus bx and minus a into minus b that gives plus ab. So just compare, this is equal to x square plus x into minus a minus b plus ab. Now compare these two coefficients of x. If we compare the coefficients of x, then L is coefficient of x in left side and minus a into minus b is coefficient of x in right side. So we can write L is equal to minus a minus b and now compare the constant term in left side. Here it is m and in right side it is ab. So m is equal to ab. So whenever we have the equation of this type, say x square plus 5x plus 6, such type of problem. In this case, we always look for two numbers a and b such that the middle term is sum of these two numbers and uh, m is product of those two numbers. We'll see it in example. Let's see another type of quadratic polynomial. Here we have ax square plus bx plus c. That means the coefficient of x square is some a other than 1. So in its factors we will have the coefficient of x other than 1. So let's take x square plus bx plus c is equal to some px minus r into some qx minus s. If we multiply the uh, two linear polynomials px minus r and qx minus s, we have p q x square minus r q x minus s p x plus r s. Now, if we compare, let's write it in a standard form. So plus x into minus r q minus s p plus r s. Now we can see that the coefficient of x is b here. So we can write b is equal to minus r q and minus s p. That means b is sum of two numbers minus r q and minus s p. Then what about a c? See a c if we multiply r q 
इंटू एस पी माइनस एस पी इंटू माइनस आर क्यू इट गिव्स आर क्यू एस पी दैट मीन्स दिस इज सेम एज आवर पी क्यू इंटू आर एस दिस इज सेम एज पी क्यू इंटू आर एस व्हाट इज पी क्यू into rs pq is compare what is pq pq is coefficient of x square in right side and in left side coefficient of x square is a so pq is our a and what is rs rs is the constant term and here the constant term is c so rs is c we can write a into c that means from this what do we conclude that b is sum of two numbers we have to find when splitting the middle term we have to find two numbers such that sum of two those two numbers is b and product of those two numbers is ac now using this we will work out some problems Now here, factorize x square minus 5x plus c 6 by factor theorem. How to factorize it? Let's see. We know that if uh, a is a real number and p a is zero, then x minus a is a factor we have x square minus 5x plus 6 you see if we'll get uh, multiply to linear uh, polynomials we'll get two constant numbers uh, whose product gives 6 so how to get that we can make it by minus 1 minus 6 pair by 1 and 6 pair by 2 and 3 pair and by minus 2 and minus 3 pair so we have numbers minus 1 1 2 minus 2 3 minus 3 6 minus 6 so out of these numbers if this is px then find this value of px in these points so if we put the value of p minus 1 then we'll get 1 square minus 5 into 1 plus 1 plus 6 that gives 1 plus 6 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 so p minus 1 is non zero so this cannot be p x minus of minus 1 and that, that means x plus 1 cannot be a factor now let's try with 2 p2 gives 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 6 from this what do we get from here we have 2 square is 4 Minus five into two is ten plus six. So this clearly indicates that the value is zero. So p two is zero. We know that if p a equal to zero, this implies x minus a is a factor. Factor of p x. from this we can say that x minus 2 is a factor of px now see if the number is 2 and here the number is 6 then what multiplies with 2 gives 6 obviously 3 so let's try with 3 so p3 is equal to 
थ्री स्क्वेर माइनस फाइव इंटू थ्री प्लस सिक्स दिस गिवस थ्री स्क्वेर गिवस नाइन माइनस फिफ्टीन प्लस सिक्स ओबियसली दिस इज जीरो सो बाय फैक्टर थ्योरम एक्स माइनस थ्री इज ए फैक्टर फैक्टर ऑफ पी एक्स फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन राइट दैट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस पी एक्स प्लस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स माइनस टू इंटू एक्स माइनस थ्री दिस इज द प्रोसेस इन व्हिच वी यूज फैक्टर थ्योरम टू फैक्टराइज द पॉलिनोमियल लेट्स सी अनदर वे टू सॉल्व दिस हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस दिस अगेन वी शैल यूज द स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ मिडिल टर्म टू सॉल्व दिस and we will verify whether what we have done is right or wrong middle term splitting as we discussed earlier this must be sum of two numbers and this is product of those two numbers so first of all we have to find the product of two numbers so that it will be 6 so the numbers are 1 Into six minus one into minus six minus two into minus three two into three. So we have four pairs of products which results in six. Now, in which pair the sum is minus five? Here the sum is seven. Here the sum is minus seven. Here the sum is minus five. So our choice is this one. We will start with this one, and the middle term splitting. So x square minus five will be minus two. So minus five x is minus two x minus three three x plus six. From the first two terms. we can take x as common so x is equal to x minus 2 minus 3 into x minus 2 this gives x minus 2 into x minus 3 as earlier we have uh, proved this by factor theorem so in both the cases the result is same now see we have to solve another problem that is fact factorize 2x square minus 7x plus 6 by splitting middle term to x square minus 7x plus 6 as previously we discuss that we have to choose two numbers such that sum is minus 7 and product is ac means 2 into 6 that is 12 so we have to find two numbers such that the sum is minus 7 and product is 12 how to do this the product if we take the products are 1 into 12 2 into 6 3 into 4 and they are negatives here the sum is minus 7 so if we take all the positives no, no sum will be positive so we have to take negatives so in this case the sum is minus 13 in second case it is minus 8 in third case it is minus 7 so this is our choice we can take minus 3 and minus 4 so we can write 
टू एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री एक्स माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस सिक्स फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन राइट वी कैन टेक एक्स कॉमन फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स दैट गिव्स टू एक्स माइनस थ्री एंड फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट टू टर्म्स we take minus 2 that gives 2x minus 3 now here we have to take 2x minus 3 and here also we have 2x minus 3 so taking 2x minus 3 common we have x minus 2 this this is the factor in this case now let's see another polynomial here it is 2x cube माइनस नाइन एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस थर्टीन एक्स माइनस सिक्स क्लियरली दिस इज ए क्यूबिकल पोलोनोमियल एंड इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू फाइंड इट्स टू फैक्टराइज इट बाय सिंपली स्प्लिटिंग द टर्म्स सो व्हाट टू डू लेट्स ट्राई विथ द फैक्टर थ्योरम हाउ टू ट्राई सी वी हैव ए द पोलिनोमियल इज 2x एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स क्यू माइनस नाइन नाइन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थर्टीन एक्स माइनस सिक्स नाउ ऑलवेज लुक फॉर दिस माइनस सिक्स फॉर हुई केसेस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ हुई नंबर्स इज माइनस सिक्स वन टू थ्री दिस इज वेरी स्टार्ट विथ दिस दिज नंबर्स इफ यू पुट पी एक्स इज दिस ना पी वन इज टू इंटू वन क्यू माइनस नाइन इंटू वन स्क्वेर प्लस थर्टीन इंटू वन माइनस सिक्स दैट गिव्स टू माइनस नाइन प्लस थर्टीन माइनस सिक्स सी टू प्लस थर्टीन इज फिफ्टीन माइनस नाइन माइनस सिक्स is minus 15 so this is 15 minus 15 that is 0 now once we get p1 is equal to 0 it is clearly from the our factor theorem we can say that x minus 1 is a factor of px now once we get one factor we can divide it by this factor to get the quotient polynomial now let's divide it our one factor is x minus 1 let me write here x minus 1 in bracket to indicate the factor now divide 2x cube minus 9x square plus 13x minus 6 by x minus 1 here the first term of the dividend is 2x cube and the first term of the divisor is x so how to get the first term of the coefficient the first term of the quotient polynomial that is 2x square by x this gives 2x cube by x that gives 2x square so by substituting here 2x square just multiply 2x square with x gives 2x cube and 2x square into minus 1 gives minus 2x square so subtract it to subtract it we have to change the signs minus 2x cube minus 2x cube is 2x cube minus 2x cube is 0 minus 9x square plus 2x square gives minus 7x square here it is plus 13x and minus 6 our new dividend is minus 7x square plus 13x minus 6 
So to get the second term of the quotient, we have to divide the first term of this dividend that is minus 7x square with x that gives minus 7x. So minus 7x is the second term of the coefficient. So minus 7x into x gives minus 7x square and minus 7x into minus 1 gives plus 7x. Now change the sign minus 7x square plus 7x square is 0 plus 13x minus 7x gives 6x and here it is minus 6. Now the time for the third term of the quotient. So new dividend, the first term of the new dividend is 6x. So 6x by x, the first term of the uh, divisor gives 6. So this is 6 plus 6. So 6 into x gives 6x and 6 into minus 1 gives minus 6. So by changing the sign, we get 6x minus 6x is 0, minus 6x plus 6x is 0. So this becomes 0. Now we can write this polynomial 2x cube minus 9x square plus 13x minus 6 as the divisor is x minus 1 and 2x square minus 7x plus 6 is the quotient, 0 is the remainder. So x minus 1 and 2x square minus 7x plus 6, these are the factors of 2x cube minus 9x square plus 13x minus 6. So we can write, so we can write Two x cube minus nine x square plus thirteen x minus six is equal to x minus one into two x square minus seven x plus six. We can write like this. Now see if now this 2x square minus 7x plus 6 is a quadratic equation. We have to factorize it. In previous question we have factorized it. Let it do it again. 2x square minus middle term is minus 3x minus 4x plus 6. From this we get x common to get 2x minus 3 and minus 2 common to get 2x minus 3. From this we have 2x minus 3 taking common now get x minus 2. So here 2x square minus 3x uh, minus 4x plus 6 this is the splitting up of the middle term process. First of all, we find that x minus 1 as the factor using the factor theorem. Now by splitting the middle term, we find the uh, polynomial 2x square minus 7x plus 6, its factors are 2x minus 3 into x minus 2. So we can write that 2x cube minus 9x square plus 13x minus 6 is equal to x minus 1 into 2x minus 3 into x minus 2. So how many factors are there in this cubical equation? We have three factors namely x minus 1, 2x minus 3, x minus 2. Each of these polynomials are linear polynomials. So whenever a cubical polynomial is there, it can, if its factors exist, then the, the, we have three linear polynomials or uh, as factors, 
or a linear polynomial and a quadratic polynomial as factors. Now, let us see some questions to use the factor theorem. Here x minus 2 is a factor of which of the following polynomials. Some polynomials are given 3x square minus 5x minus 2 x square minus x plus 1 minus 5x plus 9 minus 7x to the power 4 2x to the power 3 minus x minus 6 minus 2x square. Now just by viewing we can simply discard minus 7x for if we put the values of x as 2 we will see that the first one 3x square minus 5x minus 2 will become 0. So, x minus 2 is factor is a factor of this one and 2x cube minus x minus 6 minus 2x square in this case also if we put the value of x as 2 it will become 0. So, these two have x minus 2 as factor. Now, which of the following are factors of the polynomial px is equal to 2x cube plus x square minus 13x plus 6. Now, if, if you see 1, 2, 3, minus 3, 1 by 2, etc. Now, by just substituting these values in place of x, we will find that for the value 2, this will become 0 and for minus 3, this will become 0 and also for 1 by 2, this will become 0. So, this shows by just by putting the value of the uh, value of x, we can find the factors of the polynomial. So, now this is time to leave. Thank you.